welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a continuation. It's been a long time coming <laughs> from my top videos on this channel, which are the call center interview questions and answers with insider tips. And I felt that those videos were very helpful because you watch them so much. And so I decided to create a part three for you because why not? <laughs> For this particular video, we're going to talk about live chat, sample interview questions and answers with insider tips. I have prepared five questions for you with sample answers and the next five questions will be next week, Friday, since I don't want this video to be so long. But I do want to include as much details as possible. The first question is, what do you think makes for great customer service? I think even though it's live chat, email, or voice, there's always going to be a question about customer service. So my insider tip is regardless of your work experience, you should do your research, especially when you know that you're applying for a customer service position. It gives the interviewer the information about how familiar you are with the role and whether or not you know the basics of what are required from you as a live chat agent. And I did answer a lot of customer service questions uh, in my first and second video as well as another video on a series called Get Hired in 2020. So you may want to check that out as well. The sample answer is great customer service means genuinely listening to the customers and empathizing with them and their situation. It involves hard work and using problem solving skills to help the customer find the best solution to their concerns. At the end of the interaction, the customer should have an understanding of the situation and walks away satisfied. So even though let's say you don't have a work experience related to the contact center industry or call center industry, then you can still leverage your experiences back in your previous industry. So for example, you've worked in the food industry as a waiter or maybe in a hotel industry as a receptionist. So anything that has to do with customers um, can be leveraged as part of your experience. Now, if you really haven't worked before, you're a new graduate or this is your first time working ever, again, you can always leverage your experiences back in school or in your community or any interaction that you might have with customers or maybe not necessarily customers, but people in your community in general. Moving on to the second question, what skills can you bring to our live chat team? So again, don't panic. Even though you don't have live chat experience, it's still possible that you will get the job. So my insider tip is to go back to the job description and review the qualifications or the requirements or the skills needed for this type of job. And I'm saying this because you'll have an idea of what the company is really looking for when it comes to their live chat representative just by looking at the job description. Now, this question gives you the chance to reveal a bit of your skill set. And then again, even though your previous job is not related to being a live chat agent, you will still be able to show your knowledge of why your skills matter in this industry. It also shows how committed you are to bring those skills to the team or how committed you are to contribute those skills to the company and also to helping your customers. Now, a sample answer could be, I know how to communicate well with customers, so understanding their concerns and empathizing with them comes natural to me. I'm committed to my job and I work hard to achieve my goals. I'm a customer myself, so I know the types of experiences customers are looking for, and I'm patient enough in handling difficult situations. I believe these skills and qualities would be of great help to your live chat team. Question number three, what do you know about our product or service? 
So there is no reason not to know this. You have to do your research as what I always say. You may even ask the HR recruiter or look for trusted insider information. This question will show your interviewer that you actually did your homework and it will also reveal that you as a candidate and as a future uh, employee of the company has the ability and a desire you know you're interested to learn about the product of the company that you're applying for this also shows that you are a serious applicant another variation of this question could be have you ever tried our product or service and what did you think of it then don't panic if you haven't tried the product or the service. It's okay. You just have to craft your answer in a way that you make the company believe that you actually think the product is helpful to people or to customers. So this is an example response. From what I gathered from my research, your company helps customers in shipping their online orders safely outside the United States through your ABC system. Although I'm an online shopper myself, I never had to send a package outside the country, but I can certainly see how valuable your service is to people, especially that I've heard experiences from relatives and friends about international packages arriving late or being lost in transit. I believe your company is an excellent service to solve this recurring problem. Now notice that I actually mentioned from what I gathered from my research. This gives your interviewer the idea that you actually did your homework and then that you are incorporating your experience. You can certainly see how the service will be valuable to people and then you can even mention a certain problem that you always um, notice when it comes to these types of service and you can mention that like in this example i mentioned that i've heard experiences from relatives and friends about international packages arriving late or being lost in transit and this is not just a hearsay because this thing really happens in real life right we know that there are always packages arriving late or being lost in transit and then you can uh, inform the interviewer that the company is an excellent service or maybe their product is a great product to solve that problem or issue. Before we continue, I do want to let you know that I've been working with Multiply Me to strengthen my drive of helping people get hired and thrive in the BPO industry. Multiply Me is a BPO company that provides career opportunities to Filipinos here in the Philippines. If you are looking for job security and valuable benefits while working at the comfort of your home, then do sign up for our Future Opportunities program. Just click the link on the description below and it will lead you to your Facebook Messenger. To know more about how it works, check out the card linked up on this video. Moving on to question number four, what is your experience with multitasking? Can you handle multiple systems at once? Now, notice with these types of questions, there is a follow-up similar to, you know, a Miss Universe question. There's a question that gets asked first, usually an open-ended question and then a follow-up question, which is a closed-ended one. And make sure that you answer both questions or you address both of these questions in your answer. So for this type of question, um, an insider tip would be to look at your current skills. Since you're applying for a live chat position, then most likely you are a savvy social media person. I'm just assuming that you are, but if you're not, then again, there's nothing to worry about. This is something that you can always learn. But since you are researching about this interview, then I'm just thinking that perhaps you already know how to use social media or a computer. So then you can leverage your skills. Being in social media is already a great experience. Now take note that a lot of live chat systems that you'll work with will allow you to be in multiple chats at once. So you need to be comfortable with multitasking. And fortunately, 
A lot of people nowadays are familiar and comfortable with handling a lot of tasks at the same time. And again, that's because of the different social media platforms that we have that have chatting interfaces or platforms such as Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, even Instagram. Even though this is not the same as your live chat interface you're going to use soon when you get hired, it can still be a great experience. So an example answer would be, even though I don't have a formal experience as a live chat agent, I'm social media savvy and know how to use a chat interface. I communicate with family, friends, and other contacts at once on social chatting platforms. So I'm familiar with different ways to chat and I'm very comfortable with multitasking. The last question for this video is question number five. Have you ever served a customer over live chat before? And what are the skills you think you need to be a live chat agent? So our insider tip here is to learn to capitalize on your experience, even though it's not really directly related to being a live chat agent. This is an advice I always tell you. Again, you don't really have to be a live chat agent before for you to get this job. You just need to have the skills. So have you ever served a customer over live chat before? Maybe you haven't, maybe you have, but piggybacking to the previous question, about multitasking. Remember that at this point, you're probably comfortable using social media or computer, even though you're not super expert on it, but for sure you have tried using Facebook or email or your phone, right? So you can um, leverage those experiences. So this question will only show your interviewer what your skills are or even if you don't have the experience of being a live chat agent before, this will show the interviewer that you are aware or that you know what the skills are, the skills that are needed to make an excellent live chat agent, which are actually different in many ways from those who need to do a traditional customer support over the phone or in store. So here is an example response. You can say something like, I have not served a customer over live chat before, but I'm a fast typist and fast learner. I know how to use social media and the internet, so I've gotten very used to typing and chatting with people. I believe that these skills I have acquired through being on social media are also applicable on live chat. So in this answer, you were able to relay the skills needed to be a live chat agent such as you need to be able to type fast you need to be a fast learner uh, you need to be comfortable with typing or chatting with people you can even add something about multitasking similar to the previous question that we have the next question is something that we will discuss on the next video because again i don't want this to be very long on the next video so at this point i'll give you time to process all the questions and the answers and maybe practice answering these questions yourself as well let's continue next friday and that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching and for listening as usual please go ahead and subscribe uh, if you haven't yet like and share this video and i'll see you in my next one thanks so much and stay safe bye